Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Grassy, and today we're going to be looking into what is casting. So by the end of this video, we'll be answering these two questions and that is what is casting, why do games use casting and how can we use it in our own projects. So let's get straight into it. So I do have a little bit of a setup here um, and I will show this off in a sec, but I want to explain what casting is and why we use it. So if we type in a cast node, let's say we do cast to, let's just do BP underscore, let's see if we can get a reference type that person. Nope, we'll just do cube. Okay, cool. So you guys might've seen this before. If you haven't, then that's all good. But if you have, you've probably tried, and this is what I had a big struggle with at the start, is when to use casting and why do I even use it? Why do I bother with it? Um, so you might still be at that stage right now. So. Casting, basically what it does is it takes a generic object or a generic uh, actor, whatever you're trying to cast to. Um, so let's just say actor for this example. And it gets that generic actor and it goes and sees if that generic actor is, in this case, BP underscore cube. Okay, I've seen a lot of people, let's say if we plug this in here, and this is for the begin play, we go begin play, we want to get the BP cubes name or something. Let's see if we can get a display name. And then print string. Okay. So we do this. We've got an error. Okay. And you might be thinking, okay, hold on a sec. I'm getting cast to BP underscore cube. So this is similar to getting a reference to my BP underscore cube. I'm getting BP underscore cubes display name, which is BP cube. And I'm gonna print string. So why is it giving me, an, or why does it give me an error? I'm already, it already knows, hey, I wanna get my cubes name and I wanna print the string. However, it doesn't work like that. It's not an instant reference, okay? A reference, and I've probably shown you guys this before in my object versus class reference, but if I just type cube ref, okay? This is a reference, okay? I've got it here, and if I went and plugged this in like that, okay, it still actually wouldn't show anything because it's an actor object reference. It doesn't have a reference to any actor in the game. Um, however, let's just go back here a little bit. I'm going to actually just delete this. So what's happening is, is you go, okay, why do we need an object? Because we've already got a reference to BP underscore cube. The reason why is because we need an object to see if this is bb underscore cube. So like I was saying before, a cast is basically a way of saying, hey, is the actor that I'm, let's say, interacting with, is it of this type of actor? Is it of this type of class? And then if it is, then we'll get information from it and we'll go and do the next step, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a way of going, hey, let's say if I pick up something, I pick up a knife, okay, in a game like Call of Duty and I want to see hey, it, it, in the game the engine just knows it's just a generic actor in the world however even though to me I know it's a it's a knife the game doesn't know that so what you can do is you can, you can do a cast and then you can get information from that knife so that might be a little bit confusing at the start so I'll show you exactly a really good example that I've showed other people before uh, how to understand this so what I've got here is I've got a simple little um, set up here so i've got an on begin actor overlap so what you can do is you can actually just go to your capsule component you can scroll all the way down if you want to just follow along with this and you can click on this on begin uh on component begin overlap you click it it'll be a little plus symbol i've already got one in you can only have one of these so there's all these different things on component here on begin overlap and overlap wake all these different options you can only have one for each so if i see if i click on it again it will just bring me to this node because it's an event node now we've got a few options here but you can see here this is the most important one for this test and that's other actor so this actor or this other actor will be the actor that when my capsule component collides with or overlaps with it's going to output this okay all we're doing is then we're going to at the very start when we overlap so i've got two little things here we've got a circle or a sphere and a cube Okay, and this is the radius, these little radiuses out here. That's what we're gonna be overlapping with. And when we overlap with them, we're gonna go and print a string and that's gonna be their name. 
okay so if we go on the circle it will be uh, BP circle if it's uh, the cube it will be BP cube so now if we go to here what we're doing is then we're getting the other actor again okay so after we can we can print whichever name we run into um, we're gonna get the other actor again and we're gonna cast to BP underscore cube now in this circumstance what we're doing is we're going hey we're gonna get this other actor and we're gonna see is this actor that we're running into of um, actor type BP cube we're seeing if um, we're basically casting to it we're saying hey is this actor um, a BP cube actor and you got uh, cast success even though it doesn't say it and you got cast fail okay and what you can do is if it comes out here you can see it says is a cube so if the, it succeeds and this actor that we run into which is a generic actor there is no we don't know anything about this actor we have no idea we just know that it's it's going to be an actor okay and let's say we had in our bp cube um a name okay if we wanted to get that name we couldn't just go like this and type name it wouldn't come up with anything because the actor itself um doesn't have a name value or it doesn't have an int value or anything like that um that we've created it's just a part of the the engine but if we cast from here and we type name it's not going to be in here but if we did have a name variable we could then go and get it from here because we've successfully casted we've successfully checked if this generic actor is a bp underscore cube we can get whatever information we want from that actor now and then do what we as we will but right now we're saying hey if it succeeds if this is if this actor is a bp cube then we want to say hey is a cube and if it's not, if the cast fails and this generic actor is just, um, you know, a circle or it's a sphere or it's a whatever, if it, it could be a knife, then it's not going to go through here. It's going to say, hey, this cast failed, meaning this actor isn't a BP underscore cube. Then what will happen is it will print this saying it's not a cube. Let's go through here. You can see if I walk in here, you'll see it comes up with two things. It gives me the name BP underscore circle. And then it says is not a cube. I go to here this is a cube so let's go to it and it says bp underscore cube is a cube okay so that's basically what it is guys so you can see that if i keep running into these it just tells me hey this um is not a cube and this is so that's what a cast is guys that's what you want to use it for is things like that where you go hey we're gonna want to get you want to get a generic actor if you want to basically it's like a check and then you can get information from that check that's all it is. So we say, hey, let's get this generic actor without we're running into. We have no idea what it is. Let's check if it's of a certain actor type. If it is, then we can get information from them. We can set a variable to it, stuff like that. That's how you can get references. So that's how you can also go and get um, actor object references using cast like that as well. Um, and so let's say if we go to our uh, YouTube here and you still got our circle. So I won't show you anything crazy how to set it up. It's simply just a uh, static mesh, which is the circle, and then a sphere collision component. Okay, you just add it like this, and you just type it in there. Uh, it's just you just type in collision. So you got a box, capsule, sphere, um, and then make it as big as you want. That's basically it. So let's say if we went uh, to our cube, okay, and we added a variable, called it name. Then we can get the name of it. Now let's change this name to Dave, okay? Very generic name. Let's go back to here. What we can do now, we can cast out of this. And we can go and get name. And you can see this is the variable here, name. Now, instead of saying, hey, this is a cube, it's just gonna print out that cube's name. We go back to here. Go in, see it's going to print out Dave. However, you see that because this is a, this is a generic um, actor that's come out here, if we wanted to get this name value and we pull out here and go get name, we can't see any name variable because again, it's just a generic actor component. It doesn't have any custom variables that were made, anything like that. So that's why when we cast to it, we see if it's a BP cube, if it is, then we can get that actor's name. And we've basically converted this generic actor now to a BP cube actor. Um, so that's basically it, guys. So 
That's how casting works. It's really useful for very particular situations like this. However, be careful with casting. If you haven't been told before, um, then I'm going to tell you now, casting can be very resource heavy on your projects. So it is one of those things where it is okay to use for certain things. So like, for example, you might notice if I go to my first person, uh, I think blueprints, is it here? Or FPS arms, animations, go my anim blueprint here. If we go to event, okay. So usually what, um, at least how I set it up is you go initialize. Like that and what you do is you do something like this try and get porn owner and your cast to bp underscore first person character and then you'll go boom promote that to a reference now you get a reference to it uh, i think i've actually that's fine doesn't matter so now you can see what we're doing is that on the as soon as we load into the game our blueprint is going to get the porn owner which Right now, we it's just a generic value. Um, and even though this porn owner is of, of type BP underscore first person, it's still a generic value. We can't get anything out of it. We then go boom, cast. Um, this is the object. And we say, hey, is this of type first person uh, character? If it is, then it's gonna go and set uh, this variable to our first person character blueprint. And then we can get whatever we want. We can go here. And we can go and get whatever variables we want. Um, I think we've got any range. We can go and get range. So let's we do this. We go range, boom, get range. Okay. So this is fine here because what we're doing is that we're just casting once at the start of the game or at the start of the level whenever our character comes in. And then we're not doing anything else. It's just casted once. What you do not want to do, okay, is we let's say do tick. Okay, event tick try and avoid even using event tick at all okay we don't want event tick that's very it's it's good for very small things um but it's just you want to try and avoid it as much as you can okay if we went off here and we said cast to bp cube okay and let's say we um i don't know let's just say that we hooked up um our overlap event Okay, so what it's doing is that as soon as we overlap, it's gonna put that actor object into here, but this is constantly checking. So this is a very bad way of setting it up. However, what we're doing is we're constantly checking if our capsule overlap component is of type BP underscore cube, and then we can do what we want with it, okay? Now, this is very bad because casts can be resource intensive, and they are. If they're fine, like I said, when you do things like you check things every now and then or you initialize stuff with casting, that is okay. But when you're constantly checking and you're constantly trying to cast, um, it can, and you do this a lot of times in your game. So let's say I have a tick cast or I'm, I'm constantly casting in my character class, I'm constantly casting in my circle and my cube class and in my weapon class. It can end up adding up and can make the game or the game's performance very bad because of how many resources it needs. So keep that in mind, guys, that you want to try and avoid using casting um, when you can and just use it when you really need to. It's one of those things that you use it when you need to. Don't just go and throw it around, whatever. If you can use uh, your system or your mechanics without casting, do that. But if you do need to cast, it is fine. Um, just make sure that you're not doing things in like timers or ticks and you'll be okay. You just want to avoid casting constantly. That is it guys. Um, thanks for coming in. I hope that did make a lot of sense. Uh, leave me a comment down below if uh, I left anything out, anything crucial or important or if you didn't really understand this video. Casting itself is a little bit of a weird topic, um, at least for new people. It did take me a while to un really understand and even some people now still struggle with understanding exactly why we use casting and stuff like that so hopefully that really answered your questions so thanks for coming in guys and um, i'll see you in the next one